rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, friends, to another session of Songs of Encouragement. Glad to have you with us today. My name is Tim Holder. I am the Director of Music Ministries at Pines Presbyterian Church here in Houston. We serve the triune God, the Godhead. It is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the Holy Spirit. Our scripture today is John 14, with various verses from 15 to 27. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. All this I have spoken while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything. I have said to you, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So when his disciples ask him, well, what are we gonna do when you go back to heaven? He basically said, my father will send a comforter to you. More about that later. Bill Gaither has written a wonderful song called Come Holy Spirit. <clears throat> i 
that the Holy Spirit did come one time. It says that it came as flaming tongues of fire. And I like to just picture all these flaming tongues on fire, sitting and resting in the people that were there. And they spoke the language in their native tongues and they understood. Today, I like to think of this, the Holy Spirit as my guide and my comforter. That still, small voice that rests within us. You may call it intuition. You may call it a tap on the shoulder. You may call it a gut feeling. You may feel it a gentle nudge. But all of those things I feel is the Holy Spirit guiding us in our daily lives. I did not know our hymn for today until I joined the Presbyterian Church. I grew up in a Pentecostal church and <clears throat> some of the old hymns of the faith were not in our hymn books. I became a Presbyterian in 1990 when I was in New Orleans, Louisiana. And one of the first songs that we sang during my stay at Covenant Presbyterian Church was Open My Eyes That I May See. I've said before that singing is praying twice. I believe this hymn was actually written as a prayer to the Holy Spirit. Because it says, open my eyes that I may see Open my ears that I may hear. Open my mouth so I can share the wonderfulness of God. The words are printed for you. I hope that you will sing along with me prayerfully. Open my eyes that I may see. Do 
you go on your day-to-day -day tasks and you feel that unction to do something, or you feel that still, small voice speaking to you, say a prayer and say, thank you, Holy Spirit, for your comfort and for your guidance today. It's been my joy to be with you today. I pray that you are comforted during this trying time by the Holy Spirit. And as always, until next time, please keep a song in your heart.